Love nerds, <laughs> welcome back to my channel guys. I am so pumped about today's video. I'm a little nervous, but <laughs> I'm really excited. So as you guys saw by the title, we'll be reading 10 books in 10 days. Literally kind of self-explanatory here. Um, we're gonna be trying to read basically a book a day for 10 days. I mean like technically, I mean I have to finish basic, I mean, <laughs> We probably should finish a book a day, but like, I could do like half, whatever. Either way, I'm trying to finish 10 books in 10 days. So even if I gotta read two books in one day, we're gonna do it. So, <laughs> trying to find a lip gloss here. Um, I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. If you have any questions, definitely you know. let me know down below. I'm gonna go over our options real quick, and then we will um, jump right in because genuinely, I have so many books to read and so many things to do today, so. <laughs> Hopefully we can crack out an audiobook. Um, today is um, Sunday, September 1st. So this will end because literally we're going by 24 hours, all right? We're not wasting any 24 hours. So from Sunday the the 1st um, in the morning, it will end the 11th in the morning because that's 10 24 hour days. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, <laughs> first, if you guys like reading vlogs, if you guys like reading challenges, if you guys like all the nerdy things, then definitely give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button without further ado, let's just get started. So essentially, I really want to read all the books on my TBR, which if you saw that video, you saw like the excitement of 90%, honestly, 100% of these books. I was very excited about all of these. Um, I'm just going to quickly go over them for those of you if you missed that video or if you just want a little reminder before the video starts. Um, that way you can kind of jump through if you want to only listen to my thoughts on certain books the whole nine. Um, but yes, I don't think there's anything else I have to say. <laughs> First chunk here, we have Unsteady by Peyton Corinne. Um, I think this is on Kindle Unlimited, which is very nice. Um, I'm excited about that book. Then we have Reckless by Lauren Roberts. We have Circe by Madeline Miller. We have Re Reckless by Elsie Silver. <laughs> and then we have Light Lark by Alex Astor. We have Savor It by Tara DeWitt. I'm so excited. <laughs> We have Bella Donna by Adeline Grace. We have The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. <laughs> and we have Forever After All by Katharina Mara. Here is the um, where decisions will need to be made probably a different time in the 10 days because I also have When the Moon Hatched by Sarah A. Parker. I did start this. I have it. I bought the audiobook from Book of the Month because the Book of the Month books keep sucking. So I use it for an audiobook. And um, I only got up to chapter five, which is like 45 pages in. I'm so excited about this. I just don't want... I mean, this is like three books in one. So I don't want to ruin the video or anything like that um if this book cannot be read in the 10 days so we'll assess the situation i like to have a combo of audiobooks i need a combo of audiobooks um kindle and then like the physical copy just so i'm rotating feeling like you know some sort of freedom um so it's okay i have like it's okay i have this as an audiobook so i have some other options but if i run out then obviously i will listen to this one um but we'll have to just see if not we will try to pop in another book and it'll be fine and i promise you it will be an exciting book so it'll be equally as exciting <laughs> as this one um but and just in case because this book is monstrosity um i wanted to put that out there so anyway i'm gonna go do laundry so i'm gonna kind of figure out with uh, what audiobook i want to start with because i have to do laundry i have to make some food I have to clean my room I have to do a lot so i will keep you guys updated for sure <laughs> I just got back from um, my walk, so, so I look crazy and it's hot outside. Um, it's supposed to be fall and it's, <laughs> no, it's not supposed to be fall. And um, normally I don't mind, but just for some reason I really want the cozy weather. I don't know. But I got halfway with Light Lark. Um, I have to say, like, I just, I don't know. I'm enjoying it. There's nothing I don't like. I just feel like there's nothing that makes me, like super excited to continue reading 
I was thinking this because I was like, if someone like took the book away from me and was like, you can never finish this book, would I be like annoyed? Would it bother me? Like, no, probably not. I'd probably just like move on and be like, okay. <laughs> Um, because I don't feel much of a connection to, um, the main girl, to be honest, to be honest. Um, so I don't like, I don't know. It's also in third person, which usually doesn't, is fine when I listen to it on audiobook. So that's why I'm like, I don't know what it is. It kind of feels the way I felt during the reading, like the Cruel Prince trilogy, where I knew a lot of people like loved it and it was like life changing. <laughs> okay. Maybe it was literally not life changing, but like it was very hyped. And so I was like expecting something like, and so I guess that's how I feel sort of with this one. I just feel like I, something, um, like I just feel like, yeah, nothing like really exciting is happening. It's kind of all laid out for you. So basically this girl, um, she is, um, let me see what the back says. Okay, so it doesn't tell you must. <laughs> it doesn't tell you much, so I won't tell you much, but basically this girl enters in these games, so they have like these, um, uh, everyone from their respective, I don't know, kingdom, whatever it's called, um, they all participate um, from these years. This is every hundred years. Or they basically fight each other. It's giving Hunger Games, but the winner gets like power and to break the curse of their thing. The main girl obviously has ulterior motives and so does everyone there. And so you're kind of like figuring out, you know, everyone's stuff. But I feel like you learn a lot very early on. So like um, you kind of are caught up. So you're not really learning new things as you go. Obviously you're waiting to find out everyone's secret, but like, I don't know. It just kind of tells you whatever they're participating in the game. This is how you do it. Um, this is the world we live in and you're going to move on and get with it. So I don't know. It's, it's, it's good. It's just not like totally like grabbing my heartstrings, but I guess we'll see. Um, the ending could always change that. I always say I'm a big ending person. The ending could make or break a book. So um, definitely we'll keep you guys updated for sure. Hello. So real quick, um, before I go to bed, I want to update you because, because <laughs> I ended up starting Forever After All by Katharina Mara. Um, so right now I'm only on chapter 13. Tonight I gotta get to chapter like 35. The chapters are not long. Um, I'm just trying to get to halfway before the end of the night, obviously. So then that way I'll be halfway between two, two books. Um, tomorrow I have off, so it's um, uh, Monday. And um, I'm gonna try to finish both of these books and then one more. So I'm gonna try to get three done tomorrow. So I'll be halfway to, with, through two, so hopefully it won't be too, too hard. Um, but I'm just gonna spend the rest of the night finish trying to get halfway with Forever After All. Um, I'm liking it so far, it's interesting. I love Katharina Mara, you guys know. Um, this one is interesting because it's like marriage of convenience and like, oh my gosh, how exciting. So um, I'm interested. I always say this, but like, like reading her backlist is always sometimes like hit or miss because some of her books her backlist is incredible like just as good as like her current books other books are like not as good but obviously because they're like you live and you grow as you write keep writing so like um sometimes it's like hit or miss so that's why i was a little nervous about this book but um so far i'm really enjoying it so hopefully it keeps it up <laughs> okay i'm gonna keep reading um, Light Lark, I did, again, I just wasn't into it, um, and I also had time to sit and read a book, so I didn't want to waste some, an audiobook <laughs> listening to a book, my time listening to a book when I could be physically reading one, um, that I don't necessarily have as an audiobook, so, just gotta keep the balance of stuff, and yes, <laughs> alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow! All right, I'll give it to you. <laughs> I'll give it to you guys. This book actually, the second half, incredible. Like, so, so freaking good. I'm gonna go with 4.5 stars. I think there's definitely room for this series as a whole to still be like a five star series. There's so much potential. <laughs> but I have to say, obviously, because um, I didn't like love the first half. 
Um, and even the second half, there were a couple things that I was like, okay, okay. Um, but I really enjoyed, there's a lot of twists, a lot of turns um, that are just, again, overall enjoyable. They're like, <laughs> oh my gosh. But like, all in all, it ends up being so good. Um, so again, it's hard to like explain stuff, especially because I already explained like the first half to you, I think. Did I tell you? I don't know. Um, but it's like, you know, to not spoil or to not spoil y'all. But, um, like I was saying, yes, everyone has a secret, every single person. And I'm like, Psh. part of me knew a little bit. I had a suspicion. I said, that would be crazy if blah, blah, blah. And, um, sure enough, <laughs> I was right so um but it wasn't something that i was like that like ruined it for me because it was like a fleeting pa like thought i was like oh maybe and i was like nah like forget about it <laughs> and then it happened i said oh so i knew it um but honestly it was incredible and i really do like the writing i'm interested to see what's gonna happen the romance again the romance in the first half is just like non-existent you're kind of like hmm but then um you start to like enjoy it and then you're also then you're like hmm and then <laughs> the ending you're like <laughs> at least for me I'm like oh my gosh anyway though I'm still haven't finished the other book either but I think I'm gonna take a nap right now and then um we'll see we have time no need to panic we'll panic next Saturday that's when we'll panic because then we would be almost to the end yeah so that's when we'll have to figure it out. So <laughs> anyway, though, 4.5 stars. Yes. <laughs>
even like just fourth wing or like you know any of those fantasies romances that are out now powerless like it's not going to be like those this is a lot more difficult this is huge um but it honestly is giving me like throne of glass vibes just a little bit i think throne of glass is definitely easier to actually i don't even know though that i would say that because <laughs> I don't know like the whole series is just chaos of throne of glass but it's the best kind of chaos and so that's how I feel about this one the best kind of chaos so honestly it is reminding me a little bit of throne of glass so um yes anyway I don't need to say too much um I will keep you guys updated tomorrow I'll let you know what I start what I finish the whole line yeah <laughs>fixing my hair per usual um but i just finished when the moon hatched <sighs> at first i was like "Ooh, what's gonna happen like go to gct then um it slowed down a little bit which is like normal and i'm like okay it's just like 700 page book i understand like it might take a little development i understand it's fine but <laughs> I just didn't love it and part of me wants to give it like 2.5 stars but I'm like that's mean for no reason <laughs> that's mean so I'm gonna go with three stars I just felt like like what 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 I could probably like tell you this book in three sentences um, <laughs> Someone, I was, so I have all these opinions and thoughts, and sometimes I like to, like, make sure I'm not crazy, so I'll go on Goodreads, <laughs> and so when people agree with me, I said, yeah, okay, just thought so. Um, I had said this, I believe, um, in a different earlier clip, it's very, like, similar to Throne of Glass, it gave me those kind of vibes, um, the kind of main character seems like she was, like, inspired by, maybe, um, Selena, maybe not literally inspired by, but like similar. So like if you really like Selena, like this character is similar. I just think it was a little bit, she was a little bit too irritating. She was just a little bit too everything, everything. She's like, oh yeah, but I don't deserve that and everyone around me dies. And you're like, okay, cut the drama and shut up <laughs> because I heard you the first 12 times you said it. <laughs> and so that like just annoyed me so much. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> and then... Um, this one, I honestly, I have to read the back because I have no idea what it tells you, but it has a trope in here that's not my favorite. It's one of my least favorite, actually. It's not very common, though. I've only read it in one other series, and I hated it then. <laughs> and so when I knew that it was coming, it already was like, oh, no. Hold on, let me see. Okay, obviously it doesn't tell you, so it's probably the mic drop. Um which if you didn't see it coming then I guess it's like oh but I definitely saw it coming I said oh. <laughs> yeah um so anyway I don't know what I was saying but that's it's not my favorite trope and so that kind of ruined it for me I think that I was expecting again a lot of people hype this up great fantasy romance fantasy romance blah, 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 that's all I was hearing and um I think where this fell short was the romance um there is no development in this romance at all and so um but i normally like i don't mind insta love i love that especially like if they're mates or something which um that wasn't in this so unless it's coming in another book i don't know if maybe they just don't do mates which is fine but like i love that <laughs> it's not even that that bothers me it's just like literally um <sighs> If you read the book, you know, you're picking up what I'm putting back. It's this situation that I don't like um, because it was like, whatever. So anyway, um, then we get like random perspectives that I just don't love. I just do not love all these perspectives. Some of them I'm like, okay. Other ones I'm like, okay, <laughs> next. <laughs> and so it's just like, I don't know. It's just weird things that were like, huh? And I did, I don't mind the dragons. I do feel like, yeah, um, um, there could have been more of a, like, importance on them. Obviously, a lot of, well, it's like, I don't know. It's kind of confusing, to be honest, how they even freaking get the dragons. Because I thought they were, like, special and you had to go get them. But it seems like everyone has a dragon. So I don't understand. <laughs> I didn't understand. And I think that that was another hard thing. 
um, that I did know going in there into this book that it was just like a lot of um, of world building and I have to say like this this th this book does not mean that the rest of the series can be bad I think that this book is one of those I've read a lot of series that the first book is just not the best because it kind of has to set the groundwork and I feel like you know that's fine if this is the groundwork I will be happy if this is all the groundwork but then the next book needs to be like it's a wrap it needs to be a five star <laughs> no if ands or buts <laughs> because you set 700 pages worth of groundwork 800 pages my gosh no 700 pages of groundwork then the next one needs to needs to come in and and conquer um so that's just my opinions and I think too I've been reading a lot of fantasy romance recently if you guys saw um last week's vlog I, I love it it's so good and so but I feel like there's always something that needs to like hit the soul I always say that I love to feel all the feels like I love to feel sad happy screaming dying on the floor I love that and I just did not feel that at all with this book so the nice the nice uh the nice um niceness in me <laughs> the uh what is the word i don't know the guilt in me because I, I feel guilty if i give this less than three stars i gotta go with three stars but if you're like genuinely like oh do you recommend it right now i don't i think there are other ones that you read before this one wait till the next one comes out and then kind of wait for reviews on that um let's be 100 the, the thing it has like four point something ratings on goodreads i'm one of the few who may not like it it seems like i don't I don't know but like I literally just went, read like five different fantasy romances that run circles around this book. <laughs> I'm like Leia Stones, her books are two, three hundred pages, okay no maybe not two, like three hundred pages, three hundred, four hundred pages and they run circles around the series so <sighs> I'm just saying, just saying it was a big disappointment I'm not gonna lie to you. It was a bit of disappointment so. Yeah, okay. Anyway, I don't know what I'm gonna read next. I have to go take a shower, wash my hair probably, and um, I will let you know what I'm reading later. Now I'm really like tempted to read a Belladonna. I was trying to split up my fantasies um, because there's only four, <laughs> but I think I'm tempted. I think there's five fantasies actually, but I'm tempted to read Belladonna because I feel like it's gonna be so good and I need a win. I need a W. Uh, I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared for the rest of this video. <laughs> Okay, I'll keep you guys updated though. Bye. <laughs>reckless by Elsie silver i decided to go for a romance i was like you know what maybe that's what i need is to switch it up um because i've been reading a lot of fantasy back to back and so i don't want to like burn myself out of fantasy especially because fall hasn't even started yet <laughs> and y'all know fall fantasy um so i thought um this shirt like just got i don't know like huge but I thought that one maybe, you know, like separate it and I'm so glad that I went with this because it is so entertaining. I almost am halfway. I'm going to probably go to bed right now though so I won't get quite halfway tonight, which is okay because we are ahead of the game. <laughs> We're ahead of the game. Audiobooks definitely just make it easier and quicker and these audiobooks are probably like four hours. Like that's not long at all. So, <laughs> um depending on what speed you listen to them to so it is nice um so um hopefully we can listen obviously i have work tomorrow so we'll see i'm gonna try to get done work asap so i can get some done but i also have to go to the gym so i don't know anyway we have a little bit of an advantage so hopefully we don't have to like stay up late or anything tomorrow to um try to finish the rest of this um but i'm just eating it up <laughs> this is the fourth book in the chestnut spring series if you guys do not know i cannot believe I'm ready on book four. Um, honestly, this series is genuinely surprising me. I thought I was gonna not like it. And a lot of the books I've loved. I mean, the first book was not my favorite, but I loved the second book. The third book I actually enjoyed, <laughs> and then this one I'm loving. So I'm like, I don't know. I'm really loving this series. It's really not that cowboyish, so it's not like, um, 
It's not like, I don't know, you're not, it's not like you love cowboys when you read this series. It's not like that. You get like glimpses here and there, but it's nothing crazy. Um, but this one is accidental pregnancy, if you don't know. Eating it up, especially because there's a unique twist. I've had a couple, I've read a couple accidental pregnancy books recently and, you know, I love those. Um, but this one has a little bit of a different twist that I was scared. I was like, I feel like you have to be really delicate with the way um, Elsie Silver decided to do this one. And I feel like not everyone loves this one, um, but I really am enjoying it. Hold on, let me see Goodreads real quick. Oh, I'm a liar. It has 4.38 uh, stars on <laughs> Goodreads. That's like probably one of the highest books I've seen. Okay, so people are loving it. Okay, but I was like, gratefully so. I feel like there could uh, could have been a bad way to do this, but I think Elsie Silver wrote it kind of perfectly so far. So I'm going to assume it's going to be like that for the rest of the book. So I'm excited to see where it goes. And um, yes, I will keep you guys updated. <laughs> Literally, I told you, these audiobooks are so fast. So I ended up listening to the rest of this while I got ready this morning um, and then ended up going on, sorry, this shirt's so annoying, and then ended up going on my walk for the day and I was able to finish this already. <laughs> Honestly, it helps though that I was so like hooked that like every chance I got I was like, okay, let me read a little bit and the audiobook obviously helps as well. Um, so I had listened to the rest of these on audiobook and I really do enjoy these as audiobooks, but honestly, this book makes me love the rest of the series more. <laughs> so I feel like my love keeps growing for the rest of the series as a whole, the more books I read. I thought this was so good five bajillion stars literally I don't know one of my favorite books um that I've read recently definitely my favorite book so far in this series <laughs> of in this video but literally it's so good I think Elsie Silver made incredibly smart decisions with this every little thing I was like okay girl <laughs> I just feel like just everything happened so perfectly even I want to say even like the conflicts or the problems were so strategic that you weren't like Ugh. like they were just perfect and they were real and they felt like natural and so I just thought it was incredible every little thing was incredible no complaints i loved in this one you get to see the all the other couples and all the other family members and i just love that again that makes me love the series more as a whole um everything was honestly like perfect in this book i have not one complaint um at all the ending was so cute and just wraps it all up so i'm so nervous for this next book because i'm like <laughs> people are like disappointed um in it in the in powerless I think it's called people were disappointed in it and um, I feel like I'm on such a high with the series that I don't want another flat note but like honestly I don't know if anything could take away the love I feel for this book it is so good like the cute liners oh so good um, uh, I almost called him Rhett Theo Theo yeah Theo yeah good one Theo but I even love Winter's character um and I feel like she was like consistent again her and Theo were both consistent the whole time like everything just made sense and I love that <laughs> I love that so much so 10 out of 10 would recommend you know your heart breaks a little bit but again that's always my favorite kind of book I will say it a hundred times when your heart breaks for them you cry for them you cry with them <laughs> but you also laugh and you feel joy and you fall in love with them like just the whole nine all the emotions 
in this book. Loved it. 10 out of 10. Oh my gosh, I could see myself rereading this book specifically. Honestly, I could see myself rereading this series, but like the second book and this fourth book um, for sure. So I ended up finishing that. Um, then um, I ended up getting, so I was concerned because I did some Libby hold on some of these books. So I was nervous, but this one ended up coming, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I honestly feel like it's the perfect time for this. And I really wanted to read either this one or Cersei because those two are the ones that I'm the most terrified. I'm like, Ugh, I don't want to go downhill. So I thought it'd be perfect right now just because, um, if I was that like I probably wouldn't be able to pull through and finish it if it was after all the other books that I read. <laughs> um, not that all of them were bad but just because it was just like slowly like boring almost so I feel like now I'm like very what is that word? I don't know I'm very excited reinvigorated what's the word? <laughs> like I'm like ready I'm like okay yeah let's take on the world let's finish this video <laughs> the whole nine so I'm gonna try to start this later I won't be able to start it for a while not gonna lie so I'm we're ahead of the game right now hopefully we stay a little bit at least an hour or two ahead of reading worth <laughs> and then um hopefully we can finish this tomorrow if we started tonight I could at least get at least an hour in with this book I think I'm gonna try to get at least an hour today and that'll put me at a still ahead of the game and then tomorrow we have to finish it like there's no ifs ands or buts about it <laughs> um oh crap tomorrow's gonna be hard Ooh, we might be having to stay up already <laughs> uh-huh I'll keep you guys updated <laughs> I feel like this is just the nature of the video I'm just it's chaos so I did start the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo um, and I got to chapter six so page 42 um, I'm enjoying this I like it um, I feel like though I don't like need to obviously lay here and read it right now because I'm listening to it as an audiobook so I was trying to see what other book I want to start um, just to kind of again keep the little the little lead we had now it's a lot shorter of a lead a 45 page lead that's it so I'm gonna try to get a little bit farther I don't want to stay up too late cuz I don't know I'm just a little bit tired right now but <laughs> um, and I might get up early to like work out in the morning anyway um, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna stay up but I was kind of reading the backs of these you guys saw and these are the two I'm most like intriguing me right now um, so I think what I'm going to do is literally just start them both tonight and then we'll go from there. Um, this one sounds so exciting, unsteady, um, to be honest, but also so does, um, Belladonna. So I don't know. They both sound interesting. It's just like genuinely what am I in the mood for? <laughs> a romance, a fantasy, or a freaking, uh, <laughs> literary fiction. Is it called literary fiction? Yeah, I think it's literary fiction. Like what, what am I in the mood for? I don't know. So. Um, I'll keep you guys updated. I'll probably update you guys tomorrow because I don't have much to say right now. I'm enjoying Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Um, it is like giving me a Daisy Jones and the Six vibe. So I feel like the only thing that I feel like could break this book is like, um, is just like how obviously her story unfolds, you know? And so that'll be the only thing because right now I'm liking like the narration, the whole nine. So. I'm enjoying that. Um, I hope I updated you on everything else because honestly, like everything just goes whoosh, 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 all through my brain at the same time. So, so many things going on. Yes, I updated you about Reckless and my love for that book. Okay, let's start Belladonna and um, Unsteady. Hello guys, <laughs> it's honestly one o'clock. This is the work from home syndrome that I haven't even got ready for the day. Um, and then my freaking, I was submitting a, my uh, work for the day. It's a resource request, my um, finished one and it like deleted 
it was it usually saves a certain way and it didn't save that way and so I literally like cried for like 20 minutes <laughs> but then I found it thank the lord because honestly I was like I don't even know what I'm gonna do because I was so mad I was like I do not want to start over whatever so my morning has been a little bit crazy obviously I'm just so tired and I didn't even go to bed that late last night. I was reading Belladonna, like you guys saw. I decided to stick with Belladonna, but I just wasn't even up that late, so I don't know. I just woke up like one of those mornings where I wanted to stay in bed. Um, but I have a long day today, <laughs> and so um, right now it's one o'clock. I just f submitted that, so I'm gonna take my break. I think I'm gonna just walk on the treadmill though, so that I can read Belladonna physically because I don't want to buy it as an audiobook. But I don't want to go, I don't want to listen to, <laughs> to um, whatchamacallit right now, The Seven Husbands. I just feel like I need something that is going to like, I don't know, bring me joy. And as much as I think, you know, Seven Husbands might be good, I just don't think it's what I need right now in this moment. So I'm going to try to listen, to read and um, I don't want to waste $12 and buy Belladonna as an audiobook when you can get on Kindle Limited. You know what I mean? So I'm going to try to do that, I think, for like an hour. And then we'll see if I get another assignment, then I won't be able to do anything else. But if I had some extra time, I'm going to try to read. Because again, I, tonight I have somewhere to be. I have a young adults group at 7, but I'm usually in my house at 6. We don't get back until like 10. So then I got to get ready for bed. Like then it's, I'm only going to be reading for a short. There's, I really doubt I'll be able to finish a book today. But at least I'm going to try to get as far as I can so that um, we're at least ahead of the game. And then this weekend, we'll have to finish like two books in a day. Hopefully I get to keep up to date you guys later today. But of course, I will let you know. <laughs> So guys, really quick, sorry if it's super quiet, but I ended up not getting home until midnight. So I ended up getting to page um, 132, chapter 16 in Belladonna. Um, so obviously I did not finish a book today, which just means that we're going to have to put the pedal to the metal. <laughs> um, tomorrow's a Friday, so I should have um, a good amount of time to... Um, I work half day on Friday, on this Friday, so should have a good amount of time to finish at least a book um, tomorrow, and then we'll go from there. I'm just way too tired to... It's way too soon in the week. <laughs> it's way too soon in the challenge to, like, pull an all-nighter or stay up or something for a book. It's not worth it right now, so um, hopefully we don't have to do that, but anyway, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Good night, guys. <laughs> Don't look at my freaking burnt grilled cheese. I have no idea how that happened. And the other side, I think, whatever. <laughs> the other side is super dark, too, but... <laughs> Oh, whatever. Ignore her. Um, I am so sorry. I am so sorry for those of you who want me to read this. So sorry. <laughs> truly, I mean, like, like, truly, I'm so sad. And so, please, I don't know, forgive me. <laughs> but I can't do it. I can't. I cannot finish this book. Um, so I got up to chapter 19, page 122. I think actually a couple pages after that. Um, I kind of stopped in the middle of the chapter on the audiobook. Um, I just, I, first of all, let me start by saying this. I love Taylor Jenkins Reads writing. I'm about to, like, after I'm done filming this clip, I'm probably going to go look for, um, look at her other uh, books and stuff. Because I love her writing. I think she's so unique, so special, so, 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 so good. So talented. 
Um, I love Daisy Jones and the Six, like unbelievably so. And so this one, I actually did go in with it into it with an open mind. Um, I had no drive to like read it, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna bang it out today, and we're gonna like it. Well, I just got to a point where I was just like, I don't. Hmm, there's no point in me reading it if I don't enjoy it, and I think. I think that's something I don't promote a lot on my channel, but I think it's important that we all, and I know we all can agree, um, that DNFing's okay. <laughs> if it doesn't bring you joy and you don't want to read it, then don't read it. And so I feel like I have to, but even for the video, I don't have to. I just have to finish 10 books in 10 days. It doesn't have to be this one. So I think we're going to make the decision and DNF this. Hard DNF. I don't think I'll pick it back up ever, honestly. Uh, it's just not my favorite story. And I think that the there's a lot of things that I like about it. Again, the writing is incredible. The concept is superb. Um, I just think the literal story is just not my favorite. Like, I really, um, I don't say I don't care, but, like, it's just, like, I don't know. I don't need to read it in a whole book. Like, I'd rather you tell me the story in, like, a short story or something. <laughs> not uh, a 300-something page book, you know? Um, so, uh, I just made that decision. Um, and so we're gonna choose something else. Um, I'm gonna obviously eat, I'm gonna eat, finish eating, obviously I'm gonna eat, probably read a little bit more Belladonna, and then I'm gonna take a shower, and then I'm probably gonna finish, keep reading Belladonna, try to finish that. Well, I'm gonna finish it today. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And then we'll have to figure something else out. Um, I definitely have a lot of options. I just don't know if I should put an option, like, sooner, or wait till the end to throw in, like, another option, um, another book, because, um... I want to read all the rest of them on my TBR, you know what I mean? So, comment any other Taylor Jenkins read book you love, books you love, and I will definitely check them out. Um, I feel like I like to go into books blind, so I don't do that much research, but I'm sure if I would have done a little bit more research, even just simply read the back, I might have known before I started. So, yeah, so sorry. This is a hard decision to make. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. So I'm about to, I'm not going to bed. I'm um, about to just spend the night and try to just finish Belladonna here. <laughs> like I literally cannot go two days without finishing a book, but it's already, it's only 9.50. So I feel like I could stay up and finish Belladonna. I'm a little over halfway, chapter 25, page 220. So halfway was like page 210. <laughs> um, but I don't know, this is one of those books... I'm really loving it and I'm loving like the whole story I love the characters I'm really enjoying it and like the mystery and like I love just a lot of things about this I think this is one of those books that just literally reads slow which is not necessarily a bad thing because it's not I don't feel like it's taking away from anything it's mostly just causing me problems because um, I'm trying to obviously read so many books <laughs> anyway so yes that's the only like problem I should say is just because I'm on a time constraint here but um no other complaints um yeah so hopefully I can finish that I was debating on getting the audiobook but I had literally got halfway so I was like I'm not gonna pay $13 for half of an audiobook no 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 <laughs> so I'm gonna try to bang it out oh I switched to the physical copy I don't know why I just was not in the mood for my kindle I was over the Kindle. I was like, let me put it away. So I read the physical copy and I'm kind of loving it. I don't know. It just adds to the vibe, the whole effect. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm really enjoying it. I'm like, I don't know how to feel, <laughs> but in a good way, honestly. Usually I hate this feeling, but I kind of like it because I'm like, death is like, he like says cute things, <laughs> but then so does Silas. And I'm like, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm sure something's going to something's gonna happen but obviously we don't know what yet so I'm just enjoying it um yeah I don't know what else to tell you so 
I'm still thinking about Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I'm like, <sighs> I was like, should I just like get another Taylor Jenkins read book and literally read it in this video because I kind of love it. Oh my gosh, I should read Carrie Soto's back. Should I? Not right now because I am on a book buying ban. But at some point, I don't know. Can you tell I'm like half asleep and so now I have to read half of a book? <laughs> I was thinking about starting um, Unsteady or something because that one's shorter. But I just don't know if it'll be quick paced enough for me to finish it like tonight. So it's like either way there's a chance of me either finishing it or not tonight. A book or not tonight. So might as well do the one that I'm halfway through you know. Okay, that's all. No other updates. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Hello guys. <laughs> Really quick, I'm about to go work out for the day. So, um, as you saw last night, I ended up finishing Belladonna by Adeline Grace. I only ended up staying up till like midnight, so it was great. <laughs> it wasn't that late. Um, and I loved this book. Like, it was a love. I'm sorry, this is so good. And um, I was really scared after like finishing. Light Lark wasn't bad. Um, I still gave it 4.5 stars, but it was still so like, I don't know. I was just like, I don't know how I feel about this. Um, like throughout so much of it. Um, but the ending of White Lark ends up being good. Anyway, my point is just that I was scared because I don't have a great track record with YA books, but this one ended up being so, so bomb. All the characters, so good. The plot twist, I said, interesting. <laughs> I do have to say, I don't know if it's my favorite like little plot twist but um it was like one of those things that like I was just being like kind of nitpicky like it really did make it obviously did not change my rating of the book but I was like that's kind of sad I wish it was something else someone else I guess <laughs> um but anyway loved it if you have not read Belladonna oh my gosh go read Belladonna so good I want to get the next one already but I'm on a book buying ban <laughs> rip Anyway, this morning I ended up starting Savor It by Tara DeWitt. I'm just about halfway, um, but I'm about to go again, go for a walk, work out. It's raining inside, outside, so I'm going to walk inside. Anyway, um, I'm going to planning on like listening to the rest of this before in the next couple hours or most of it, I should say. Um, I'm loving this book. I think it is so fun. The thing is that it is giving more summer than I thought. It's fine it's fine because obviously we're not yet out of summer but I do feel like right now it's like raining it's cold um so if I don't finish this after like my workouts and stuff I might just switch over to a different book and get cozy because <laughs> that's what it's giving cozy vibes right now so um I don't know but for now but I am loving this and I think um if you are if you haven't like read if you're not out of summer and you're looking for more summer wrecks um still I would go with savor it because they're they haven't gotten there yet but there's supposed to be like some sort of competition but like things are building up you meet you're meeting characters um you're me you're getting to know these characters and I love them <laughs> and so honestly like like, I'm very excited to see what's gonna go down. So I'm gonna go work out, listen to that. <sighs> Whatever, let me go fix my hair. Hello guys, 
So I actually ended up finishing Savor It last night by Tara DeWitt. I love this book. I ate it up. I honestly think right book, wrong time. <laughs> Definitely think that like I probably would have, I mean I still gave it five stars, but I probably would be even more like gushing, screaming, dying on the floor if I read this in like summer. Obviously summer's not over, but you know what I mean. Like this is definitely a beach, beach read, sit on the beach or like on vacation kind of read. Um, so that's why I was kind of like, <laughs> you know, I feel like, um, that's what I mean when I say summer, I should say. Um, but uh, it was just so, like, swoon, swoon worthy. I don't know. I just felt like this was so sweet, so cute. I honestly wouldn't even mind the ending. Um, whatever. I won't tell you, like, everything. But I wouldn't even mind if the ending ended differently. Um, <laughs> because it just felt like... I don't know like summer obviously won't last forever that's what it says um and and so like the moments though that they shared were just so sweet so cute it was so fun um I don't think it was this like developed like in-depth thing but I honestly think that like I don't care <laughs> I thought it was cutesy it was fun um and I loved the characters and I just loved the small town um I just genuinely loved this I loved the writing I have not one complaint and so um I, I 10 out of 10 recommend maybe save it for next summer or <laughs> um, just read it now and like YOLO <laughs> so I don't know love that book so much so 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 good and then I ended up starting this book I don't even remember what it's called Wrath of the Damned <laughs> why <laughs> um, by um, Ella Field so I read the first book in a reading vlog actually that you guys would have saw last week um my fantasy reading vlog because I but I loved it so much that I ended up like reading the first couple of chapters of the second book already in that video <laughs> but then um whatever I just paused it and finish it so I thought because we didn't finish we didn't finish uh uh Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo I thought it would be fine to um obviously start a different book and so that one I know is going to be quick I'm already 20% of the way and I just started for last night last night I only read for like an hour and a half not long um but it's a very quick paced book and I this is a duology so I'm like okay I can finish it and then we're done with that like series and so that's my idea here um I also did end up getting Cersei on the Libby app it came my hold came in um I'm really scared about this book and so I might try it and then go from there if I don't like it guys I will not read it <laughs> I don't know like there's I feel like this obligation to have to read that book and I don't know why because it's not like it's exciting to me I'm not like so excited about it I just feel like it's it has um uh, I feel like it's such a I don't want to say hyped book because I don't even know if it's necessarily hyped but I know it's like widely talked about and so I feel like I should read it but I'm like that's such a stupid reason to read a book so I might try it and then let you guys know from there I'm really excited about um Unsteady and then I know Reckless will like I'll be able to finish that so um we'll have to see about again Cersei and then go from there um and yes um, because that one I have is audiobook. The other two are not audiobooks right now. I didn't buy them. So it just will depend. But like, um, I have, I have to film a cup of video. I only have to film one video today and then I have the rest of the day to kind of do whatever I want. So, um, I just like meal prepped this morning, did laundry, um, which all those things are good with like a good audiobook. I just didn't want to read Cersei yet. So I don't know. <laughs> we'll see <laughs> then I, if I don't read Cersei I might have to get a different book as an audiobook or find a book that's like a free audiobook because I'm tired of spending money on audiobooks to be honest with you to be like till 100 so anyway I should feel like I should also tell you <laughs> because the part of this challenge is obviously like doing it in the 10 days um but today's Sunday the 8th so <laughs> we gotta finish two books today and um do I have to finish? Yeah, two books today. And so, <laughs> I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs>
All right, guys. <laughs> Sunday night. Sunday is well. I was gonna say it's done. It's not done. Um, but I'm about to get in bed. Um, I'm hopefully not gonna go to bed, but I'm gonna get in bed. I ended up getting so. I'll tell you about this one first. I ended up getting halfway um, with this book that's on my Kindle that I can't remember the name of. Wrath of the Dam. That I got halfway. So it says there's like, I think it said like three hours left and I was like, okay. Um, it just wasn't doing it for me in that moment. Um, I was loving it last night and then, and I don't think it's the book, I think it's just like the mood I'm in, I just wasn't in the mood for it. So I ended up starting Unsteady by Peyton Grant and I got halfway as well. So chapter 24, I got to page 179 and I am like loving this, eating it up, show bomb. And so, um, I think I'm gonna try to stay up. It's only 10 13. I'm gonna try to see how much I can get done at, by midnight and then um, I'll update you guys tomorrow probably. I decided that I will not be reading Circe by Madeline Miller. I just felt like with the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, Hugo I just don't want to risk it for the biscuit. I might have to put this in like a read it or unhaul it video, um, but I'm just like, I'm literally not in the mood. So we'll have to see. I just don't think I, ugh, I don't know. It just annoys me when I look at it. So to so know, but I do want to get a reread off my um, TBRR for fall. So I'm thinking about reading one of these because they can have both of these are audiobooks. Um, so I have Carval on the on Audible, um, and uh, love this book. And then we also have Hooks by Emily McIntyre, but this one is on the Hoopla app, and so. Obviously, I can listen to both of these tomorrow um, and the next day if needed to kind of just like, you know, listen to it quickly. This one's shorter, but I liked the Caraval more, so that's why I'm still torn. But again, I'll keep you guys updated. Um, and yes, we'll read one of those books, hopefully. <laughs> and then we still have Reckless to go, so I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> So I have lots of things to update you on. <laughs> First, I finished Unsteady last night. Um, I love this book. I ate it up. I thought it was so good. Five stars. Um, I just thought it was like just the perfect amount of everything um, of like depth. Like my heart was so like ripped down my chest a couple times. Um, but then also like the perfect amount of cute. And I just I loved um, Reese loved him like so, so much so um honestly five stars love this book um and i really like it's, it was the perfect time for it too if you're looking for like honestly this would be like a more fall winter transition because it gets really chilly in this book <laughs> but it was just fun to like curl up and like binge this before bed honestly if it was any other book i probably wouldn't have made it <laughs> but because this book was so enjoyable i just like binged out the rest and i was like oh perfect um but then i'm sure you guys saw i started carval so i started my reread here um and i'm loving this so i just got a little over halfway chapter 21 i was kind of torn on what i want to do before the end of the night but i think what i'm gonna do is um finish this tonight and then try to finish the book on my kindle as well by ella fields um wicked something uh, or nectar i don't know <laughs> um i'm gonna try to finish that one so i'm gonna try to finish both of these tonight and then tomorrow we'll leave um the last book we'll have to read is reckless so I don't, might have to just get it as an audiobook because I'm not gonna lie to you, tomorrow is a busy day, y'all. <laughs> so I have like not a lot of faith, but we'll see. <laughs> um, but I'm just gonna like, you know, max for the rest of the night. It's only, it's seven o'clock, eight, nine, ten, three hours. I could definitely finish this before then. It'll be the Kindle Unlimited book that we'll have to see, but I guess, I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> Okay. At least it's cozy because now I can just like play games on my iPad while I listen to um, Carball. <laughs>
right guys so um it is tuesday it is four o'clock 3 30 it's 3 30 okay we got a, every minute counts here um so i like i said i started um reckless last night i didn't want to buy the audiobook but i ended up buying the audiobook <laughs> um it was only it was 15 like 15 dollars and i'm like what the freak but i did it anyway because i really want to um i want to win this challenge <laughs> One, two, I really wanted to listen to an audiobook when I was walking and I literally could not decide what audiobook to choose. Even if I was going to like choose a different book, I did not know which one I was going to choose. Um, I took the dust jacket off, but um, so I got halfway now and I'm enjoying this. I'm really liking this. I think I'm liking it better than I liked Powerless, so that's good. Um, I'm excited to see obviously what happens. We got a little, we got a third paw, a third point of view that I just don't like necessarily love. <laughs> and so like you're chugging along the story, you're like, oh my gosh, and then it switches point of views. Like, so it is dual po, it is, it's three point of views. So, but it's the main couple and then someone else. And then you're like, okay, go back to where we want to be. <laughs> so honestly, no complaints, genuinely, the audiobook is nice. And so I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm really loving Kai even more like in this one. And so I'm excited to see what's going on. I mean, I like, I like, well, <laughs> honestly, I don't remember a lot about the first book, um, but I'm also enjoying Peyton too, Peyton too. So I think all in all, I'm enjoying it. It's I'm cutting it close, so I have half a, I have two halves of a book to finish. I basically have to finish one book by the end of the night. Well, honestly, by tomorrow morning, because I started on Sunday morning at like um, how did do I didn't do it down to the minute, but like I think at like ten. So. Um, but tomorrow morning I work, so like it's not like I have very much time in the morning anyway, so I'm gonna have to finish it tonight, um, even if I have to stay up past my bedtime. <laughs> um, so luckily I'm done with work for the day, and so, um, I have to work out still, so, um, we'll have time, and then hopefully we can finish off the Kindle book, and then we'll, we'll be a success. We'll be winners. Winner winner chicken dinners. <laughs> I finished them <laughs> I am so excited so last night um, I did finish both of these honestly I probably could have finished them one sooner two like more than ten books if I genuinely did put like put my mind to it last night I actually um, so I had finished reckless probably around six and then I ended up watching prison break <laughs> until like ten and then I got in bed at ten and I was like Ugh. Because I was like, I'll just fail the challenge, it's fine. Because I don't feel like reading that other book. But then I ended up getting in bed and then started. I was like, maybe I could get like a couple chapters um, further. Well, it ended up being so good that I was like, okay, let me just finish it. <laughs> so I ended up finishing the, all the books. I'm so, so excited. Did not know that was going to happen. I also pulled out my um, leggings, leaves, and lattes, please, little sweater. It's not my favorite. Like, I don't know what like it's so annoying but like it's also so cute so I wanted to pull that out anyway um we're gonna end this video here we're gonna talk about all the books oh well I'll give you my rating for all the ones we already talked about and then we'll talk about my thoughts on Reckless and the Ella Fields one so um first things first we finish Light Lark by Alex Astor I think I'm gonna go ahead and change my rating for this one I'm gonna go with 4.25 um I really enjoyed this book I thought it was great you guys saw a lot of my opinions, um, but I do have to say, like, thinking about it, um, it's not as, like, I don't know, it doesn't hit as hard <laughs> in the brain as it did, like, when I was reading it, and so I feel like I had a lot more complaints than I thought I did, um, so we're gonna go with 4.25, which, again, is still a great rating, definitely recommend, um, but 
not the honor of a 4.5 <laughs> i think it's easy too to like compare the books as i read them all because then i'm like compared to if this is my standard for a five then this one is not a 4.5 you know what i mean <laughs> All right, then we have Forever After All by Katharina Mara. I'm officially going with 3.25. I know I didn't say that earlier, but um, I like this book. I thought it was enjoyable, but again, it just doesn't like, it, the things that are my headers not not <laughs> um, the good things. And so I'm gonna go with 3.25. Take that how you will. <laughs> And then we have When the Moon Hatched by Sarah A. Parker. Um, I rated this three stars. We're gonna stick with three stars, honestly. Um, I think like it's kind of self-explanatory, subpar. I definitely think it's not worth reading, <laughs> genuinely. Um, it's like 800 pages. I said this earlier, like um, I would skip this until the next book comes out and then kind of see how that book goes to decide if you wanna read this monstrosity because I just did not did not really enjoy it love it it's not the next fourth wing it's not and it's not the next throne of glass it's not <laughs> then i read reckless by elsie silver five stars love this i honestly was like i want to reread it already <laughs> it's just so enjoyable so definitely if you have not read that if you have not read that series go for it it's the perfect season it feels cozy yes 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 um, then I read Bad Belladonna by Adeline Grace, another five star. I thought this book was so, so, so good and I want to buy the next one so bad as well. Um, and I don't know, just, just all of the things that were said, everything was so cute. It was so great. The fantasy was incredible. The romance was cute. So it was just like the perfect story. Um, then we have Saber It by Tara DeWitt. I ended up changing this rating as well to a 4.5. So again, still enjoyable, still super fun. Uh, definitely like more of a summer read. Um, but I did have to say like, again, comparing it to Belladonna, Reckless, some of my other five stars, this one was a little bit, a little bit not as good as those. And so I was like, okay, <laughs> let me calm down. I was just giving out five stars left and right. I was on a good track of not being too generous of a reader and then all of a sudden I was like everyone gets a five star <laughs> but I, I want to make sure I'm giving you my um, actual opinion with a standard <laughs> um, but we did read Unsteady by Peyton Corrine and I also gave this five stars <laughs> I just thought this one was quick it was fun um, the mailman character uh, Reese so 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 cute love him and then um Sadie honestly she was awesome too I just love the like it's not necessarily like single parent trope but it's more like um um uh do I should I oh yeah she says her younger brothers yeah so you know like she's basically taking care of her younger brothers and so I just love 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 that um I just everything about this ate it up and this is one of those ones that's also first of all perfect for this season um and very quick and short and so 10 out of 10 recommend. <laughs> then we did a reread of Caraval by Stephanie Garber. Oh my gosh. I think I gave this one a, uh, ooh, I didn't put it. A 4.5 <laughs> this time around. I really love this book. I'm not gonna lie to you. So my the series is a five star series. So if that helps um, determine anything for you, I just, I think these books are so good. There's a special edition coming out. Um, well, there's the Christmas special edition, but then she's working with some brand that's coming out with like $150 like hardcover like design and I'm like Do I need to save my money? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's so beautiful though. Alright, then we finished Reckless by Lauren Roberts. Just to give you a quick final thoughts, um, I ended up going with 4.5 for this one. I think something about the series is just like, I love, I mean, they're, they're great. They're entertaining. I read the whole thing, listened to the whole thing on Audible, um, and I loved it, enjoyed it. I do have to say though, I feel like something is just like not my favorite. There was a point where <laughs> the audiobook was obviously I was listening to it so um there was a quote in here there was two times was two times that they went to say something like a, something cute and then I like quoted it with them I, I've obviously never read this book before so it's just like I think that's one of those things it's a little bit predictable a little bit um uh cliche if you will like you're like okay <laughs> and so it is very fun it's very entertaining and I think a lot of people that's why a lot of people enjoy it because it's not too far out of everyone's comfort zone if you will so again it's enjoyable but 
Um, I think that's why it's not a five star for me, just because, okay, like I shouldn't be quoting these lines with you. <laughs> um, get a little creative here. So anyway, though, I do think it's a great follow up to Powerless. Um, I like, I, I think I have a hate love relationship also with like the, what the time span this takes over because it's not long. It's very short, uh, the time span, if you will. And so, but I kind of just like this. It feels like, I don't know. It felt like a almost like a cozy fantasy a little bit like there was didn't feel high stakes at all And so obviously it's not like necessary, but like and it was a little bit like obviously what's gonna happen But like genuinely I was like, okay, you're all gonna be fine <laughs> So I don't know I don't know <laughs> But <clears throat> Wow um, But I enjoyed that so there's that one. I'm excited for the third one. I accidentally, oh, I didn't tell you that. I accidentally read the last line before starting the book. And so I said, uh-huh. And don't, like, how do you accidentally read the last line? I was looking for the page numbers because I like to know when halfway is, um, especially for, like, challenges like this so that I know where I need to get to so that I can update. Um, but I had read it and it, like, flashed before my eyes so quickly. And I was like, did that just say? And I literally sat there and I'm like, I think that said. <laughs> and I was like, it definitely said that. And I was like, well. <laughs> um I was like well at least we don't know like who said that at the time so then I figured it out obviously and so interesting ending I don't think it was as crazy as everyone hyped it up to be everyone's like oh my gosh and I'm like okay come on be for real <laughs> come on people it's not that serious so all right then we read um it's the deadly divine uh book two by Ella Fields um I just think, I don't know, whatever. I just can't ever remember the name. Um, I ended up giving this four stars. So the first book, though, was a five star. So it's like to go down to a four star does suck a little bit. But I think this one, I think well, the problem with duologies, um, I love duologies. I think they're so fun. But I think the problem with them can be like, if one is a great fantasy romance, the other one, if one is like, uh, wow. I feel like a lot of the times one will be uh, romance subplot fantasy, the other one will be like fantasy subplot romance. And so I think there's an inconsistency when there's two a lot of the time. Um, and so this one I felt like that, like I felt like this second one was definitely more fantasy, um, more adventure, like they're doing stuff, they're fighting and like that kind of stuff. And so that's fun. I enjoy that but it was definitely different from the first book and so there were times where I was like okay let's wrap this up people <laughs> let's get going and um, it's also like obviously could just be the state that I was reading it in as well I was like so over all these books <laughs> so I'm saving it for last probably wasn't my best idea but um, I ended up finished that I also you guys saw my Kindle I kind of have a hate love relationship with it um, I think I love it but I don't know you guys let me know I think it's just like I think I have to move everything up because it's so squished right here but then it's whatever I don't know how I feel but it might stay like that forever because I don't I don't want to change it um anyway so I ended up giving that book four stars and I will agree it's still a great duology is it worth the read definitely if you're looking for just a quick duology that's entertaining fun um and uh quick pace then i would go for it they're not long <laughs> um but uh just know i mean a lot of people don't even love the first book anyway so actually i don't know let's see oh no i was right yeah people like the first one better than the second one so <laughs> um i was right but I don't know. I still think it's worth the read, to be honest, and I'm going to check out more of her books. Um, then, really quick, I did DNF, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It just is not for me, not the story for me. Um, and so we're going to get rid of her. I'm probably going to go put it in my pile that needs to be donated. <laughs> um, but I just didn't want to finish it. I love Taylor Jenkins Reads writing, though, so I will keep an eye out for more of her books. And then last but not least, we did not end up reading Cersei. I didn't even try it because honestly, I knew I would go in there with some negativity. So I might have to like read the back, see what it's actually about, and then go from there. Um, because, um, yeah, I don't know. Just was not going to motivate me to read this book. So <laughs> that's fine though. We still read 10 books in 10 days. It is, I'll show you the, um, I don't know if it'll show you. I'll show you my calendar. It is the 11th. Yes, it's 57 degrees. Don't judge me. <laughs> it is, oh my gosh, September 11th. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Why don't we do a little mystery emoji? You can comment. Let's see. 
comment the little mushroom emoji if <laughs> you made it all the way to the end of this video. Let's do that. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye, nerds.